so beautiful beings. Mm. Coming to you today with a little bit of alchemical spiritual practice. My Ishta Devata Sadhana personal practice to cultivate currently uh, strength, courage, and power to rise in the face of any adversity and to overcome any difficulties. Welcome to the Alchemical Sanctuary. I am your host, Anya Devi. And today, I wanted to connect a little bit to the energy of Durga. Durga, the primordial divine feminine Shakti, the mother, that rises in the moment of despair in the world. She rises to defeat the demons of the world. She rises as one and as thousands of other energies of the goddess that we all hold within thousands of faces of the Divine Feminine to be side by side with each other, remembering the wisdom of the mind, connection to our highest consciousness, our highest potential, our blueprint of our mission work, of what we're here to do. Visions, what we see and imagine, our deep truth that we're here to speak, to voice, to bring through the truth that needs to be spoken, to reawaken the reunion of love and truth in the heart space, to bring in the true organic flow of the divine union within the hieros gamos and the heart to open up to love and compassion in the heart space to awaken to our own sacred power our superpowers our supernatural powers of who we are awaken to our unapologetic power to speak that truth to bring through our mission to not allow anything to stand in the way and to be deeply rooted and grounded in the earth. So this energy, the powerful energy of Durga lives in the heart, in the fearless heart, Abhaya Hridaya, fearless heart is awakening and it's being fueled by the solar power in the solar plexus. Here's where we burn away the ego mind and the love of power. And this is where we support the power of love to burn through the heart and to bring the mind, the visions, the imaginations into the heart space, into the knowing, true mission to our true soul purpose work in this lifetime to stop wasting time to stop wasting ourselves to stop people pleasing to stop doubting ourselves to stop comparing ourselves to others to stop sourcing from elsewhere to start giving to ourselves, to start to regenerate that energy, to open ourselves to receive, to open the heart to receive, to really reawaken that 
that power to rise. Durga is the power that rises when the world is about to be destroyed. In her myths, she is summoned by all gods. While they are defeated, they come in the reverent, reverent prayer and they shoot the beams into the center and out of the center rises this beautiful energy that is all happening within ourselves. She rises as the flaming one, the fire. And she's ready and she's unapologetic and she is also protection and safety in the sacred space, in the safe haven. You can retreat into her fortress to heal and to feel safe and supported knowing that you are the powerful source to overcome any obstacles that stand in your way. So that's my practice, my Ishta Devita Durga. One of the practices I do with her is a Bayahridaya Mudra, the fearless heart. Ring and thumbs together, their other three fingers are wrapped. This mudra really reminds us how to rise fearlessly from the heart space. As the goddess warrioress energy. Om Dum Durgaye Namaha is her mantra. Om Dum Durgaye Namaha. It's like the language of the soul. Om Dum Durgaye Namaha, calling upon the strength from within to, to bring through our confidence to withstand the adversity, to withstand the difficulties and blocks and obstacles, anything and anyone who tries to stand in the way to slow us down or make us feel small or dishonored and unappreciated, um, taken for granted. We say no more to that. We pull the sword of discernment. Durga wields the sword of discernment. Her movements are sharp. She doesn't mess around. She cuts the heads of the inner inner demons, inner shadows. And she guides us on the straight path of liberation. On her lion riding, her lion, her tiger. She's not afraid to overcome any obstacles on her path. She has many forms, and one of her forms is also unapologetically running towards the battle knowing that she is victorious and she can overcome any, any difficulty in her way. So this beautiful Durga energy connects the mind, heart, and the solar. And there's this field of energy that supports your whole being in your life, in your empowerment, in your connection, bringing the mind into the soul, burning away the ego mind that loves power in any way, that is corrupted in any way, burning away. And then in return, it resurrects this flame that supports the heart and the opening of the heart to speak the truth, to regenerate love for the world, to create safe and sacred boundaries in the name of all living beings. For the good of all, this work is always done for the good of all, always offering all of my practices for the benefit of all living beings, remembering that you are divine, you are holy, you are stubborn, you are human, 
You are multidimensional. Claim your rights and every one of your rights to be returned to you, to your being. Remember that you are whole, just as you are. Mm. Thank you for tuning in to this short and sweet meditation activation, remembering who you are, becoming your own shining star, the sun within you shines upon your heart and your mind, illuminating from within all that you need to see, all that you need to see and to show the world all around you, to awaken, to awaken all living beings to the truth, to love, to kindness, to compassion, to true service. Gratitude to each one of you. Blessed be.